Is it time to buy or sell Intel stock? In this video, we are diving deep into Intel. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, the 29th of October, 2024. And now we are here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You do not want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and deep analysis for any one among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. Since the 7th of October in the year 2024, our system has identified Intel as a buy candidate, assigning it a score of 1.56. Now, let us examine the stock's performance during this time frame. The stock has experienced a gain of 2.32%. This equates to an average return of 0.14% per day since it was designated as a buy candidate. The stock is currently situated within a broad and weak upward trend in the short term, indicating that a further increase within this trend is anticipated. The current three-month trend implies a potential change of approximately 3.73% over the next three months, with a possible return ranging from negative 11.44% to positive 44.35%. In terms of the 12-month trend, it suggests a decline of about 51.93% over the next year, with a potential return falling between negative 69.24% and negative 44.16%. This corresponds to a price range of approximately $7.04 to $12.79 after one year. Our latest daily update for Intel features the headline, a challenging day for Intel stock on Tuesday, experiencing a decline of approximately 0.0873%. On the last trading day, which was Tuesday, the 29th of October, 2024, the Intel stock price decreased from $22.92 to $22.90. During this trading day, the stock experienced fluctuations of 3.26%, reaching a low of $22.41 and a high of $23.14. Notably, the price has risen in six out of the last 10 days, showing an increase of 1.06% over the past two weeks. The trading volume increased on the last day by 34 million shares, although this occurred alongside falling prices, which may serve as an early warning sign, indicating a slight increase in risk over the next couple of days. In total, 73 million shares were traded, amounting to approximately $1.68 billion. Reflecting on the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price recorded was $51.28, while the lowest was $18.51. Currently, the price sits 55.34%, or $28.38, below the 52-week high, and 66.95%, or $46.39 below the all-time high reached on January 24, 2020. On that day, the price peaked at $69.29. Intel is poised for significant scrutiny as the market awaits its third quarter earnings report, expected after the closing bell on Thursday. Analysts are largely pessimistic forecasting a quarterly revenue drop that could mark Intel's biggest decline in five quarters. This decline suggests further erosion of its market share in both data centers and personal computers, raising concerns about its competitive stance against industry rivals. Since Chief Executive Officer Pat Gelsinger took charge, Intel has faced ongoing challenges, struggling to reclaim its manufacturing edge and seeding lucrative segments, particularly in mobile, and artificial intelligence. Investors are reportedly losing patience as the company grapples with high customer inventory levels and a conservative order approach, which could adversely impact revenues. 
with expectations of losses for the quarter ahead, which short-term sentiment around Intel's stock appears weak. Moreover, broader industry dynamics, including competition from leaders like TSMC, continue to pose threats to Intel's foundry business strategy. The upcoming earnings call is being characterized as a critical juncture for the company, requiring management to provide clarity on its future direction. In the short term, a disappointing earnings report may pressure Intel's stock price further down. However, if the results provide any positive insights or strategic pivots, it could stabilize investor sentiment and play a role in a potential long-term turnaround. Analyst Ratings On Thursday, the 17th of October, 2024, it was reported that Goldman Sachs assigned Intel a sell rating with a hold action. On Thursday, the 3rd of October, 2024, it was reported that Wedbush assigned Intel an equal weight rating with a hold action. On Monday, the 23rd of September, 2024, it was reported that Benchmark assigned Intel a buy rating with a hold action. On Monday, the 23rd of September, 2024, it was reported that Wolf Research assigned Intel a reduce rating with a hold action. On Tuesday, the 17th of September, 2024, it was reported that Bank of America Securities assigned Intel an underperform rating with a hold action. Analysts have assigned a general sell rating to Intel stock. They assess the price to earnings ratio as buy and the price to book ratio as buy. Regarding return on investment, analysts have classified the stock with a strong sell rating. The following signals have been identified for Intel. Intel stock exhibits buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a positive outlook for the stock. Additionally, there is a general buy signal stemming from the relationship between these averages, where the short-term average is positioned above the long-term average. In the event of downward corrections, support can be expected at the levels of $22.58 and $22.36. A decline below either of these levels would trigger sell signals. A buy signal emerged from a pivot bottom point on Friday, the 6th of September, 2024. And to this point, the stock has increased by 21.23%. Continued upward movement is anticipated until a new top pivot is established. However, some negative signals have also been generated, which may impact short-term developments. Furthermore, a sell signal currently appears from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, often referred to as MACD. Yesterday, volume increased alongside falling prices, serving as a potential early warning, suggesting that the stock should be monitored more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, buy signal 38 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 27 days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal four days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal 32 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 29 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, buy signal 3 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 149 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 157 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you wish to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Intel Intel finds support from accumulated volume at $21.84, and this level may present a buying opportunity, as an upward reaction can be anticipated when the support is tested. This stock typically trades at a considerable volume, and with minor daily fluctuations, the risk is regarded as low. Over the last day, the stock moved 73 cents, which is 3.26% between its high and low. Throughout the past week, the stock has experienced a daily average volatility of 3.26%. Before we dive into the potential trading levels for Intel, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, we have the price to earnings ratio, commonly known as the PE ratio. 
This important metric measures a company's current share price in relation to its earnings per share. This notably high P.E. ratio suggests that the stock may be overvalued. However, it is not unusual for technology companies or those with significant market potential to exhibit such high ratios. In other news, the next earnings report for the third quarter of 2024 is anticipated on the 31st of October, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates are at negative three cents. It is essential to monitor these figures as they can significantly influence stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Intel. If we observe an upward trend, the first resistance level for Intel is at $23.46. If you do not currently own any shares, it may be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could serve as a point to consider for swing trading. Conversely, on the downside, Intel faces its first support level at $21.84. If this support level remains intact, it could present a favorable entry point, anticipating a potential rebound. The combined average rating for Intel from various analyst sources is to sell. Now let's examine some recent insider trades. On the 27th of September, 2024, Yuri Frank D., made an insider purchase of 3,137,663 shares of phantom stock units. On the same day, Smith Gregory D. conducted an insider purchase of 1,516,102 shares of phantom stock units. Also on the 27th of September, Ishraq Omar executed an insider purchase of 1,306,985 shares of phantom stock units. On that same day, Goldsmith Andrea Joe made an insider purchase of 1,254,706 shares of phantom stock units. Earlier on the 31st of August, 2024, Gowell Scott sold 2,024 shares of restricted stock units. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we find that the insider power is positive, with a ratio of 1.565. In total, insiders acquired 440,463 shares and disposed of 421,731 shares in these last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $22.18, representing a decrease of 3.14%. This stock exhibits low daily fluctuations, which translates to reduced risk. Additionally, a buy signal has been identified from a pivot bottom that occurred 37 days ago. Is Intel stock a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a generally positive trend, suggest that the current level may present a buying opportunity as there is a reasonable chance for Intel stock to perform well in the near future. After analyzing the volatility and movements from the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Wednesday, the 30th of October, we anticipate Intel to open lower by approximately 8.3 cents, starting at $22.82. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should consult with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. Your investment decisions should not be based solely on information from stockinvest.us. By using this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment choices. This is our current perspective on the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. What is your target for this stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day with warm regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.